Okay, here we are looking at the bar magnet simulation. I'm moving the compass around to show where it points. You can see that it lines up with the magnetic field of the small compasses that are indicating the field around the magnet. As I move the magnet around, you can see that field change. You can flip the polarity of the magnet and you see the compass and all the small compasses also change. Here's the field strength meter. We're going to look at the field at various places. Here we are close to the poles, to the south pole of the magnet. And towards the middle of the magnet, we're close, about the same distance we were at the ends. You can see the field strength at the poles compared to in the middle. Now let's take a look at a pickup coil. Pickup coil is just an ordinary coil of wire. Move the magnet. We move it through the coil. You can see what happens to the light. Notice all the small magnets that indicate the field. As I move the magnet, the field moves or changes around the coil. And you can see the electrons moving a little too. I can move either the magnet or the coil. change this to a meter you can see that when the field changes it goes negative and positive negative and positive <clears throat> so the electrons go one way and then the other we can change the number of loops see what effect that has on the light. Now let's take a look at an electromagnet. This is like our nail and battery. We can see which end is north and which end is south. If we lower the voltage, you see how the electrons change. And if we switch it around the other direction, the electrons change direction as well. we change the number of coils, you can see the field strength change. And we can switch to AC and now look at the way the field goes back and forth. Now let's take a look at a transformer. A transformer, when we move one coil through the other coil, we get a light. That's just like the pickup coil. You can see that an electromagnet there um, that's what this transformer is when we have a DC power source. It's behaving just like a regular magnet, which means it's not, nothing happens when it doesn't move. But if we switch the current back and forth from negative to positive, we get a little light. We can do that by 
switching it to AC and now it's always switching back and forth. See the electrons going up and down there. You can see the field switching back and forth. So that induces the electrons in the other coil. We can increase the amplitude of the waves in the AC. That's changing the voltage to a higher positive and a higher negative value. And we can increase the frequency here. So change the size of the coils. We can put them closer together. Now let's take a look at a generator. Here we have a moving magnet. It moves when we run water over it. it. Causes it to spin. Take a look at the compass above. You can see it is showing the field is changing all the time. If we look at the voltage, it's positive and negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, as the field switches back and forth. So that's essentially alternating current that we're making there. change the number of loops, change the strength of the bar magnet, increase that all the way up to 100%, and turn up the rate of change of the field, the frequency, by turning up the water. We can slow it back down. And just leave it there in the middle. And then see what happens as we reduce the strength of the magnet. Change the number of coils. Lower it. Or reduce the area of the coils. We can also go the other way. Increase the number of coils. Raise the strength of the bar magnet up. Turn up the water. 